Hi guys, today I'm back with a, another Lego Minecraft mock video. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing my Ravine mock. I'm just going to do a quick 360 of it. Okay, so I want to review this mock from top to bottom, so let's get started. I made it so that the top level could come off, but the, but the middle level can't. So, here's the top level. Uh, from this side over, we are starting with a horse. I believe this came in the, in the, in the, um... The set with the massive castle, the Minecraft one. I'm not. I'm not sure if it's called the fortress or something like that. Something like that. Anyway, there's a um, there's a hay bale here. The horse is eating the hay bale, even though they don't do that in game. I'm just imagining that they can. Um, there's a Nether portal. This was in my Nether set, my Nether mock. Sorry, not set mock, my Nether mock. It's just a uh, like two by eight with the. Uh, 2x6 purple plate. Um, using a legal building technique, it, it's going in the middle of those blocks there. And then just 2x2s. Two um, I think it's 5. Yeah, it's 5. And then another 2x8 and some black tiles too. Some 2x4 two, two black tiles to top that off. So that's the nether portal. I'll just put it outside because it's pretty bulky. So next to the nether portal, there is this very uh, tight, I would say, like, farm for the pigs, or like paddock. I, I, know, I know the the fences don't exactly match up, but well, it's good enough. In front of that, there's a torch, and let's move on to this part. So here, there is a bed. This is to respawn. Like, after, if you die in the nether, that's where you respawn. Um, following that, there is two chests. One of which contains a diamond pickaxe and a flint and steel. I'll show you the flint and steel. This is the same design that was in my mega tiger biome. You should watch that. Um, there's also, in the second chest, there's an iron sword and a lava bucket. And an oak tree is in the middle of these chests. There. Over on this side, you can see there's a crafting bench, a furnace with a cake on top of it. I don't know why, but the furnace is smelting something. And there's also a grass block with another torch on it. That's it for the top level. And the character that goes with the top level is the character that I got from the Illager Raid set. So this is supposed to be Kai from Lego Ninjago. And, and to go with that, I did a yin-yang yin shield and I gave him iron pants. Okay, moving on to the second level. We have um, like the, the beginning of a mine. So starting over here, there is a furnace. It's smelting something. And next to that, there's a chest filled with diamonds and emeralds. There, there are three diamonds and three emeralds. I really like the color of these. Uh, th this isn't like a, like a deep green, and it's not a really lime green. It's like the green of the stems that they use for carrots, which is, which is a really nice green. I, I like that they made it that, them that color. You can also use like transparent one by two, like little... Um, I'm not sure what they're called, like little tiles, but for emeralds, but yeah. Okay, moving on. There we have a creeper and a sign that's pointing to the loot chest here and also a torch. This was built off a, a two by six here and then the plate, this plate was is attached to that plate and they, they all, uh, it can be a bit flimsy sometimes, like 
this is more strengthened than the top, but the top doesn't have anything inside there, so that, that's a bit flimsy inside, so sometimes I can like move around. Um, over here taking half diamond armor Steve off. There are two TNTs, some mushrooms, and another torch. So Diamond Steve has a bow and arrow uh, and a sand block. I made it slightly smaller, like like it is in the game. Like when you when you hold when your character holds it. Um, he he doesn't see the creeper coming, and he's trying to protect his friend the blacksmith down there from the skeleton. So he's like aiming. He's not very good at aiming. So that's the second level. Uh, moving on to the third level, I tried to make the sand as if it was falling sand. So I put clear one by one, a one by a clear one by one, and a clear one by two in the middle. So it gives the effect of like, like falling sand. And then he's placing the sand, so he obviously has more sand on hand. So moving the sand away. We can see that there is some iron ore in the corner there, here, and a, a flat bit of just stone. Then there's a skeleton who's um, attacking the blacksmith from behind while she's occupied with the skeleton over here. Um, here I added a feature that is almost in every ravine. There is lava, there is water, and in the middle there is obsidian. I take it that's how... The people made the nether portal. Sorry, not the people, the characters. Um, yeah, so the blacksmith has jumped from the top. From the top into the water down here. And surprise attacked by a skeleton. And now she's fighting it in the water. I gave the blacksmith a custom shield. It's just a 2x3, uh, brown 2x3 with just a design. It's the same... The the two by three, that the the yin yang shield. It's also a brown two by three. Um, the blacksmith has a diamond sword, and I, I'm not sure if she has uh, leggings or boots because she's in the water. But she, as far as we can tell, she has a iron chest plate. Um, going to the back, I added a little Easter egg here. There's an Enderman, and he's and he's guarding the uh, the diamonds. That's kind of like a cool little Easter egg that I added. And these diamonds are hidden from the from the rock here, so no one can see. There's also a, a coal, block of coal in the corner here. More mushrooms scattered around the place. And this mock didn't actually take that long. I based it off a set that I got recently. I got the first adventure, so I'll just bring that up for a second. I did use some parts from the first adventure, so if it looks a bit plain, then then that's why. So this is the first adventure set. Um, I tried to replicate here with the stone. I tried to replicate the, the blocks that they have. They have this special piece here. And then the the parts in the middle are connected with Technic. This this set does have more play features than mine, and there is a minecart track. There's a minecart track where where my mine sort of thing is. Um, yeah, as I was saying, there's a there's a lot of play features included in this set. Like like they've added like riding water down. So just flick this thing here. And then the water slides down. There's a part here where you can put a minecart in down the bottom here. And then you press this and it goes forward. Here there are a bunch of cool little things going on in this set, like like the part of the minecart blows up. Sorry, the rail, not the minecart. The part of the rail blows up. I mean, effectively, I did create a recreation of this set, but I did change a few things. So I, I think I can still call it a mock. Um, yeah, tell me what you think about it in the comment section down below the video. 
and please tell me what you would like to see me build next because like I don't want to build something and then you guys like not like it or something so I, I would like to know what you guys want me to want want to see so if you could tell me that'd be great see you guys in the next video